Hey guys, Helpin' up here, gonna be the interaction to Ratchet and Clank vs. Jack and Daxter Death Battle, recommended by Cody Lane. I've actually seen Ratchet and Clank's movie and the gameplay and stuff. Never seen Jack and Daxter. Probably should see it one of these days. Got nothing but much to do. Getting ready for Legion and all. Most of the time I'm just gathering ore in World of Warcraft. It's just not worth, not as, not worth as much as it used to be, but I still gotta get those tokens. Wish I could make this room a little brighter, or I could just get a better camera, but every time I buy something online, it's always shit. So, yeah. yeah this is a long one, so I guess we should probably just get to the video. Hathria, Hathria, no one. This episode of Death Battle is brought to you by Angry Video Game Nerd 2 S Emulation. <laughs> Buy it! Right now! People really do enjoy making cool. old arcade games. <laughs> yeah, I heard some of my ghillies say that basically our technology is going to reach the point where video game wise that the most it's just going to be at max to the point the where I, it can't go any further. Ratchet and Clank, the Cosmic Commandos! And Jack and Daxter, the masters of eco. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And Whoa, it's that's our cool. job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. It was a time of chaos. I wonder which one we get to see first. The Fragmite Empire wreaked havoc across the galaxy. Ew, what the hell? Until a race of unlikely heroes fought back. The Lombaxes. Who may be some sort of lemur wombat? <laughs> well, whatever they are, they're pretty good at kicking the shit yeah, out of I've never heard of this story. I've seen the movie, the but I've never seen this story. Them to another dimension. Well, well, shit. All except one. And boy, would that come back to bite him in the ass. <laughs> raised as one of their own, the last Krag might betrayed his foster lombaxes, raised an army of fish people, and in some okay. sense of cruel ironic justice, banished the entire lombax race to their own dimension as well. And just as ironically, missed one who would prove to be his greatest adversary. This lone lombard yeah, that movie was saw. Ratchet, and he spent most of his days the movie's based on off a the game, planet, so. dicking around with mechanical stuff and dreaming of one day exploring the galaxy. So and idolizing the thing, phony up all the big guy that's like Johnny Bravo mixed with uh, and built a spaceship some other egotistical douchebag. So and drink my heat out. My hot Asian wife! I'm gonna squash you like the bug you are. Take him off this boring planet once and for. Oh. Well, yeah, he's not the best. Robot band. ignition system, this hunk of junk would never fly. And with Ratchet's luck, it's not like one was just gonna drop out of the sky yeah. or anything. <laughs> I recommend watching that movie. It's actually this was pretty good. The Century Bot serial number XJ0461. There's a shit ton of plot holes in it, and like one of those, uh, you guys don't have military or some shit. I mean, it's like they only have like one type of military, and that's it. It's like really just been assembled. Just a few heroes and the rest of these stupid robots are programmed to be stupider than stupid. Oh hey, Lopez. Uh, I didn't mean you. I mean other robots. That was kind of racist. Hey, that's not true. I have lots of mechanical friends. Factory? But when the factory malfunctioned and made this little guy, it decided to scrap him for parts. So naturally, he got the hell out of there, <laughs> ended up with Ratchet, and together they became the greatest hero duo in the galaxy. While they started out as an unlikely pair, they picked up all sorts of experience along the way. Never played Ratchet those games. has been trained as a commando and is proficient in martial arts, heavy weaponry, survival skills, stealth, ballroom dancing, and Didn't know any of that. And despite his diminutive size, Clank is an asset in combat as well. When paired with Ratchet, he can act as a personal helicopter or even a jetpack. Oh, also, nice. Turns out Clank wasn't a mistake after all. He possesses the soul of a Zoni. 
energy-based creatures with the okay. ability to manipulate time and be immune to time-altering effects. Okay. And eventually, these powers manifested in Clank Didn't as know well. about that. That's right. He's a robo-time wizard. Knows. Who did you say gave you this thing? The Sony. They are little invisible creatures who travel through time. Oh, right. There is a free mental health clinic at the corner of Lilac and East Valley. <laughs> Both Ratchet and Clank are loaded with nanotech, microscopic machines which instantly repair their bodies after any injury, though That's their nice. number is limited. But Ratchet and Clank's true strength lies up their Ugh. arsenal. <laughs> Ratchet's packing your usual Solana-style weaponry, from his trusty Omni wrench to rocket launchers. But the real beauty lies in all his wacky weapons, like the Vortex Cannon, which sucks up tiny enemies and blasts them back out like little flaming <laughs> meteors. The mini turret glove can deploy dozens of auto-targeting machine guns, which can destroy tanks. And of course, there's also a disco ball, which forces foes to helplessly dance before them. I got this feeling that I gotta sing. I got this feeling. <laughs> Ratchet's gadgetry also difference. includes energy shields, close-range shredder claws, and a variety of drones to assist him in battle. He's even picked up a gun that turns enemies into tiny, adorable sheep. <laughs> Hang on, we can't forget my all-time favorite, the Rhino 5. Part minigun, part rocket launcher, this beauty unleashes a glorious river of death in whatever direction she's facing. You know that feeling you get when you see a pretty girl on the first day of school? You're not quite sure what to do, but your instincts just take over and you smile at her. And she smiles back. And suddenly the world is a brand new place, and your stomach is all full of twists and twirls um yeah well boys i got that feeling right now nice all set to Tchaikovsky's 1812 overture i'm honestly surprised you know how to say his name <laughs> oh yeah the dude played my favorite musical instrument what the piano no no cannons <laughs> oh it's not anyway, a musical in instrument. Their adventures, Ratchet and Clank have done some pretty it's a weapon of death. Things. They were skilled enough to win numerous gladiator battles, strong enough to stop the blow of a Then we miniature sized it into a gun. Fast enough to dodge close range laser fire, tough enough to survive an explosive shipwreck, and even the vacuum of space. However, their ability to survive deadly blows is entirely dependent on their supply of nanotech. Okay. If they run out of microbots, the next blow is sure to be fatal. But Ratchet well, and Clank's greatest strength doesn't come from any outlandish well, no one's open. body rebuilding <laughs> nanomachine. Rather, it is their unbreakable bond of friendship and teamwork. Yes. Oh god, that was so friggin' lame. Robots are not so easily fooled. Ah, what's that? What? Uh-huh. Long right. before the world bred life, it was filled with Eco. Okay. Left behind by godlike beings called the Precursors, Eco came in six Oh, kind of like a Halo. Each possessing they have a different power. beings called Precursors. But what became of the Precursors? How did they harness the power of Eco? The answers, they say, lie in the destiny of the mischievous teenage boy named Jack. Jack was born into royalty as the son of King Dumbass. Yeah. Dumbass, ruler of Haven <laughs> City. But Jack lost his future as heir to the throne when some douche named Baron Praxis overthrew his dad. The former king was separated from his son and banished to the wastelands, leaving Jack to grow up a wandering orphan. Until he was taken well, and raised by Samos. Who the hell are you? One lucky bitch. The elder of Sandover Village. Here, he met his best friend to be, Daxter. Oh, I don't know why he would ever want to be friends with a guy that never shuts up. <laughs> you say yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Wait, I where thought his friend was why did they something build this else. Crud? Before long, Jack and Daxter became inseparable and did just about all their teenage tomfoolery together. <laughs> like stealing a speedboat to explore the forbidden Misty Island. Yeah, yeah turns out it was forbidden for a pretty <laughs> damn good reason. <laughs> so yeah. Uh. Man, that stung! Oh no, he fell into the weasel pool! <laughs> well, technically, he fell into a pool of dark eco, which transformed him into an otzel. 
whatever the hell that. that's supposed to be. <laughs> Dexter took it pretty well, all things considered. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> By the way, where's the unweasel pool? It's not so simple. In order to reverse Daxter's transformation, they would have to find the Sage of Dark Eco. To okay. prepare them for this journey, Samos trained them to harness the power of Eco and, in turn, it actually looks like a fun formidable game. Formidable warriors. With green Eco, Jack can restore lost health and create if that's for PS With yellow Eco, he can Xbox. launch energy projectiles. Well, I've played Xbox games, game, so it's Blue obviously Eco not doubles one of those. his speed and reflexes, and Red Eco does the same for his strength allowing him to take down tough enemies with a single strike. But when nice. their tinkering with ancient precursor technology sent them tumbling into a dystopian future, it's a long story. Jack was captured and experimented on by Baron Praxis, Yeesh. who wanted to turn him into a super soldier. Too bad he didn't really know what he was doing, and poor Jack was stuck as his lab rat for two straight years. Until Ugh, Dexter finally shit. busted him out. Jack was so happy, he spoke his first words ever. I'm going to kill Praxis. <laughs> My first words were I guess it him. Now, Break his spirit. <laughs> unbeknownst to Praxis, while his experiments failed to turn Jack into Captain America, they did <laughs> grant him the ability to consume Dark Eco and temporarily transform into the mighty Whoa. Dark Jack. Dark Jack can use Dark Eco for a bunch of powerful projectiles. That must be like the and second game or something. triple in size and strength. On top of that, Dark Jack is also oh, completely how many games they made. invulnerable. That's right, we bad! You haven't forgotten what I taught you, Jack. If one super form wasn't enough, Jack gained another when he came face to face with the precursors themselves. And turns out they're all Otzels like Dexter. Come on, do it! Ah! Oh my god. They gave him the ability to consume yes. light ego in order to counterbalance <laughs> the within. Never guess what they called it! Give up, it's like Jack. In this form, Jack can glide through the air, create a force field. So he basically becomes that uh, uh, archangel guy from Diablo. Uh, I, I haven't played that game. Well, so. energy, I don't remember his name. One of the most versatile weapons ever created, the morph gun. Powered by different types of eco, it can work like a shotgun, grenade launcher, or minigun. It nice. can fire ricocheting laser shots, homing needles, and even tough decision. Lightning. These and when Jack sets the motion, actually, I think Jack might have the advantage. Mode, it can blast a wave of dark eco so absurd it alters the very laws of gravity on anybody within its reach. Yeah, but if that fails, they can just blast them with a supernova. It basically one shots about anything. <laughs> Here goes my sight. This place has too much excitement. <laughs> We need to move back to the country. Armed to the teeth with weapons and eco, Jack and Dexter successfully dethroned Praxis and saved Haven City thanks to several impressive feats along the way. Like getting I up think no I'll go problem with after being Dax crushed in a cave in, guy. or tearing through solid metal doors like wet paper. Dexter helps when he can, usually by steering missiles into people, but most of the heavy lifting is done by Jack. Like the yeah, one Jack and Dexter, I think this. I'll go with them. Jack and Dexter are incredibly resourceful. They won a gladiator-style battle with nothing but an unmodified morph gun. Oh, wow. And their drive to win is so strong they even took first in the Crash City Grand Championship. I wow, hate poison. racing games. Even giant They're terraforming so irritating. robots trying to destroy the world fall to their teamwork. Provided I remember one called Road Rash. They can only carry so much eco at once, roughly under I a I believe that's the motorcycle one where you get, get to beat the shit out of the other players. And then the cops show up and you can do the same to them, just to be a total also, dick. Jack <laughs> can be a bit reckless and doesn't always think things through. Even still, don't underestimate the duo of Jack and Dexter. It's the last thing a lot of bad guys ever did. <laughs> All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate. Yeah, I go with the guys all. on the right. But first, remember that game we told you about last time? You can buy it now. The nerd is That's back scary. on an adventure through 22 levels full of new weapons, enemies, and. All right, there we go. No, I can't.
cares? There we go. Ah! Yeah. It's weird that about seagulls are most of them. We even have half of them all the way out here in Montana. Oh, I'm like, that's the last time here? I let Quark fix the warp system. Actually, Why bother weren't going you seagulls? the one who overclocked the accelerator? Huh. This is new. <laughs> Hi. Hey, do you have any idea what you've done? Yeah. Hey guys, welcome to our home. Make yourself comfortable on the couch. If you can find what's left of it. Nah, this isn't so bad. Ah! I can fix that. I'm very sorry for your loss, Mr. Weasel. <laughs> well, well, well. Looks like it's us who needs to fix you. Violence doesn't solve anything. Yeah. Can't we all just get along? Huh? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh. What? It was obvious. Yeah, it's not very fun having a critter hump in your face. Ow, <laughs> oh, motherfucker. Okay, that's cool. What the fuck? The other world is this. Right. Yeah, he's got two power-ups, so... You're out of league. Rest in pieces. Whoa! Ratchet! Heavy time. TF2. <laughs> I designed for this. Let's and he didn't even it. use his two bursting abilities yet. Any more weapons you want to throw at me? Like I need any more. Damn. Burst for. Huh. Well, um, <coughs> maybe just one more. <laughs> Behind us! Now what? Booyah! Get up, Jack! This is going crazy. I'm not sure if it'll affect the robot. Yep, I didn't think so. Oh, that is too OP. Well, shit. And curtain. <laughs> KO! Oh! The weasel guy! Jack and Daxter were formidable fighters, especially when they had enough eco on hand. But Ratchet and Clank's better teamwork, superior defenses, and overwhelming arsenal trumped them in the end. Well, they both well, had ways to yeah. patch themselves up. Ratchet's like I said, there's a hard way more reliable and plentiful than Jack's green ego. And Ratchet's shields and incapacitative weaponry were more than enough to put a stop to Jack's more offensive eco. Haha! <laughs> Take that, nature! While Jack and Daxter's morph gun was one of the most versatile weapons we've ever seen, it absolutely pales in comparison to the sheer size and power of Ratchet and Clank's arsenal. 
Jack's best shot was this Yeah, I guess form. they were the ones that were like everything Jack and Dexter had, it didn't take long to run out of juice. Well, Ratchet and Clank had more than enough gadgets and weaponry to keep up the fight. Plus, Clank is an infinitely more capable sidekick than Daxter, especially his time manipulation and immunity power. Hmm. It was game overture for Jack and Daxter. The winners are Ratchet and Clank. Next time on Death Battle. The Flash. The guy who's constantly on meth. Which is why he goes so fast. <laughs>